There are two ways to create a Word Online document. The first way is from the home page of Office 365. Click on the Word Online button and that automatically creates a brand new document. That document is automatically put into the edit mode. To name the document, simply click on the top and proceed to edit. To return back to your OneDrive, simply click on your name. And the second way in which to create a brand new document is from your OneDrive, navigate to the folder you'd like it stored in, click on the New button, select the type Word document, and then again a brand new document opens up, and in this case, rename it, proceed to edit it. Returning back to my OneDrive, there are two ways to delete a document. First, in this case, if I wanted to delete the document called Another New Document, you don't click on its name and open it in Word, but instead, from OneDrive, click on the ellipsis, or the three dots, and then you'll have to navigate to the additional ellipsis, More Actions. And there you'll have a pop-up menu in which to delete the file, and it'll ask you to confirm that you really do want to put that in the recycle bin. I do, so I click OK. Repeating that process, in order to delete this document, I simply click on the ellipsis, in the resulting dialog for More Actions, click on that ellipsis, and use the command delete. The second way in which to delete documents allows you to delete more than one. You simply navigate in OneDrive as to where they're located and notice when you move your mouse to the left hand side of the icon of a document a check mark forms. If you click that check mark it gets bold. For every document that you check or you can uncheck, but with those two documents, I now have available to me the Manage command. When I click on Manage, I have the ability to delete those documents, and again, with a confirmation that I really want to do that. In my case, I don't want to cancel these, so I'm going to say Cancel.